the triple kill followed by the triple attack on the back line was really nice. Where the hell are we right now? Here? Okay. Well, it's easy. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, anything in here? No? Alright, who and what are we leveling? Well, we're accumulating these little yellow things. I hope that's good, because we're getting a lot of them. What do we want here? HP. Dude, do we ever not raise initiative on this guy, even though he's min rolling it? Like, what the hell do we do when he doesn't have double or triple initiative stars? Just be really sad. I'm tempted to take HP and uh, Stam here. Still raise it? Okay, very excited by that. Imagine min taking a min roll initiative roll over a max roll HP roll. Very, very sad. Tell me the initiative range is three to five. Tell me it's three to five and not four to six so I can feel better. And if you if it's not that, just tell me that anyways, okay? Okay. Six is only three star. Okay, it is three to five. Good, 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 good. Then we're fine. And then it's at least I'm not taking a min roll initiative over a fucking middle melee defense or high roll HP. Uh, no, I just mod in easy stats for myself just to make the game super easy. Yep. It's awkward, I have to admit that publicly, but I have a problem and I just wanted to let you guys know. My famed items stop working? Like, why did he just not die there? Whip damage roll. This guy immune? He's not. It's the other one. Yeah. Okay, sell. Yeah, it would be nice to do Noble War, but I don't know about nice. It would be, the music is nice. The rest of it is so not worth our time. It's the problem. That's why we're not doing it at the moment. Uh, let's figure out what they're selling for. I'd like to sell everything. I guess this is a good item for that. Okay. All right, 16, sure. Apparently we found Kraken yesterday, wow. I didn't remember doing it. But I would like to try out these new Kraken strats, so. 
We should definitely attempt to do that. Do we want Beastmaster whips? What's the fucking... I never remember the... I guess they're right next to each other. I guess I could look there. What is the difference between these two whips? Beastmaster is lower damage. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thanks. Okay. Imagine pen on a whip. It does like one damage. Anything that shouldn't be here? I don't think so. Large collections of armors. This 240, 280, I guess. Ah, it's okay. Guess we should check for famed for anything else. Then we should check for birds. <laughs> Not making any progress on our goals. Our goals are birds, wolves, hyenas. Go through this mountain range. I just sold the one. The shittier of the two. They're both pretty shitty, but I sold the shittier one. Oh, we have chosen camps from before. We should definitely do those. Show them the darkness. Welcome, Toasted Zergling, to the team. There is unholds around here. Be a good camp to pull them into, but let's take this fight right now yeah I feel like that weapon just stopped working
picked a real chosen by 11 to 13 chosen. I think we wait till morning and take this fight. So we get throwers, our thrower online for that. All right, that's probably a death for somebody. Although maybe not, it's only like 11, 13. Uh, our one guy is still recovering. Don't need a fencer in this fight. I would like another tank. Who sits? I don't think Zerg. I mean, this would be a good fight for Zergling to get experience. Quitters never win. Thanks, I kill. I wonder if we should or shouldn't. Bring a tank here. And clearly this guy doesn't want a tank here. This guy feels like he'd be pretty tanky, but last time the Chosen just annihilated him because we don't have any fucking pen protection, sadly. You guys want a DPS race Chosen? Any unholds? Nope. Alright, camp the morning, go. Uh, let's just double check the armor, and then... Go, go, go. We should have some better helmets. 255. There. Chaos can die with 74 HP. I don't really want to lose Chaos because he's going to be good from the orc fights, but. Fresh from the stagecoach. Not sure if I can do anything about that. Thanks, uh, Zap Zaplol. Try and drag Linworms over. That is a good strategy. I know it backfired last night at the end of my stream. I, I got it. It wasn't good versus goblins. That fight was super easy for us without the Linworms. And super bad with the Linworms. But... Here you drag unholds, and unholds are very good at killing Chosen, so... That's a fucking terrifying line. Nice, block my thrower. We're gonna need help up there, but I can't put the thrower there. The thrower won't be able to do anything.
kind of tempted to walk away from this guy. Chaos has got to be really careful here. 70 HP. It's a good first round for us, though. Dude, another headshot immediately. <laughs> so stupid. Fucking chosen. Oh, didn't see that guy. Just walked away from a chosen axe. Wouldn't recommend. Stam for a second swing, sadly. What if I get dagger? 14. They did not just kill Professor Pandemonium. Sure did. Killed him through Davkul armor and Ijarok helm with 95 HP and 40 fucking melee defense. 45 melee defense. And they did it by hitting him in the head repeatedly until he just died. That's hilarious. Okay. Chosen. We can't hit this guy. We've missed him five times now. Super bad here. No stam for a disarm, huh? Days. Okay. Had he drank the water? He had not touched the water. We could try for a kill with this whip. It's unlikely it does it, I don't think. Maybe. Okay. 
Standing next to a Chosen. Just took an extra Chosen hit for no reason. Second time I've done that this fight. Chosen has not finished yet, so should give him some daggers. Hit him through that shield wall. What was that percentage? 16. <laughs> Try him for the second kill. We died on a 20% with that. Uh, get both my armors back in my axe, but uh, rip Professor Pandemonia, best cultist. Smashed to death two times. I mean, you can't be more armored than this, right? That's a 45 melee defender two-hander with aspect of Davkul and helmet of the Ezerok. And they just fucking cracked him two times in the head with an axe and killed him from 95. It's... Ridiculous. Alright, these are my items, so we didn't gain any famed, sadly. So no famed out of that camp, and we lost our best guy. Rip. Chosen. Okay. This guy's gonna sit for a minute. Pretty heavy wounding here on Chaos. I told you Chaos wasn't gonna do well in this fight. It doesn't have enough HP for this fight, really. Yeah. Who died? The best cultist. This is a zero stand build, huh? If it's zero stand, do we even level that right now? We're gonna get five more resolve. I think we need to level uh, resolve here, actually, sadly. Okay. They lessen the whooshing a bit. Um. I think the double whoosh is what's the part that bugs me. Like a single whoosh on a, on a miss is reasonable. But a double whoosh is a little too whooshy. Do we skip this melee attack star on the fencer? This is either HP or uh, attack here. Yes, chat, you've covered the two, the, the, <laughs> the first two responses of chat are attack, then HP. Yep, we covered all the, covered all the bases. Okay. Do I have RimWorld VODs? I do have RimWorld, RimWorld VODs somewhere. I didn't play it a lot, but I played it a little bit. Okay. Ah, nice wow. I could take that as a mod. I think we take the attack here, probably. I mean, this is the minimum roll, right? So let's say we didn't take this. So this is level four. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Seven more levels for fourteen is eighty-four. No, I think we need it. I guess it's not really that. It's seven more levels at two and a half. Four, more than that. Mm, I don't know. The accuracy is still kind of nice. Is there plus accuracy on lunge or no? There is not. So you don't get the sword bonus on lunge. 
Oh, fuck that. Then we're taking the accuracy. I think I was thinking I was getting that. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Jello. Welcome back. Lickers never win. All right. Cheers. So sadly, we lost miss, uh, lost one of our guys here. So we're we're losing people, which is what we want here. But we do need to replace them. So, and we didn't want to lose our best brother, even though he was significantly worse after he took that wound. But anyway, I'm sure chat understands we don't want to lose good brothers, and we'd like to replace them with better brothers. Fight's gonna be hard with our existing people. We kinda need to go actually temple, honestly. Well, this gives us a reason to go back south. We need to go down there for the hyena anyways, so... No surprise that we now also need to pick up a couple more people again. Which is fine. We want the cultist runs to go long. It's the interesting part of cultist game. But it does feel like a bit of a setback. I guess we could have iron taxed it, but I mean... It just happens sometimes with Chosen. I'm okay with it happening occasionally. Uh, what are we fighting? Honor guards. All right, spear is of course entirely useless here. So is the sword. Sword's not entirely useless, but it's not good. Sword is slightly better, right? What does it do? That's right. It crushes their shield. Nice. Okay. It weighs a little bit less. I think this guy's bringing an axe. This is twelve. It is. Can almost run her this one. Okay. Punished for yesterday's hedge knight. Uh, you mean the hedge knight rolled poorly? Yes, the hedge knight rolled poorly. All right, I'm sure we can do better armor than this somewhere. Okay. Unconvinced this is gonna be great, but maybe. Where's our other 300 here? Okay. Where do you get the flesh armor? Um, it's complicated. You get a bunch of cultists, then you wait a very, very long time. Or you download the cultist mod, and then you get a bunch of cultists, get some people to 11, and you wait a fairly long time. And then you get it. It does, not exaggerating, kill one of your people to get it. He has to be level 11 plus to die. And uh, yeah. Fucking looks great though, doesn't it? Artworks and that, it's really good. Yeah. Are they holding their turns? They're fuckers, they are. Not happy about that. I 
you really bad, huh? Fuck. A lot of one HP. <laughs> Fucked his day up. Is that one again? Three. Okay. Got a cleaver all of a sudden? Where that fucking cleaver come from? <coughs> Excuse me. Lunch break. Hmm. Maybe soon. Okay. Problem is the stuff we're likely to find in here we're now a lot less good at dealing with. 
mostly the uh, chosen events, chosen locations. We're a little light on food too. All right, how do we do there? This is with HP, it's not. It just hasn't got the next HP event. HP events are slow, man. The candle events. I guess it's reasonable. Okay, got a little tiny bit fucked up there, but not super bad. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Wow, I think you like a slightly more reasonable game than I do. It's certainly a more reasonable game than the Iron Man Police would prefer us play. Uh, one tens there. What do we have? We have a hat here. We must have a hat. Okay. What are we fighting? Orcs. A bit late HP for orcs, quite honestly. Seven to ten berserkers. All right. Yeah, I think it's been decent so far, while, but I'm a little worried if you accelerate it. I think there should be trade-offs, right? Like it's clearly a very powerful ability. I do hate rebuilding the roster for candles, and I don't know what. I don't know what the answer to that is. Is it reasonable to recruit people with candles? Seems unlikely. Is it reasonable to accelerate the likelihood of those events occurring as the game gets later? Maybe that's the way to do it. So it's not a fixed timing. It's a timing that uh, gets more frequent later. So then you could replace your roster. I'm not sure. Why does this guy not have a reach weapon or adrenaline? It's not okay. If I had killed, I could have done it twice.
The fame sword lance has been good. It might just be fame weapon stuff though, right? Like the fame fucking fencing sword was amazing last game. And the other one has been real mediocre. I don't know why you're laughing so hard. That was bone plating, buddy. Adrenaline. Ooh, is that another sword lance? Fucking hell. All right. All the sword lances. That has plus damage on it, right? They're going to make me one. It's like, this better not be you, Wyo. Last game it was. Last game it was, Filthy, you must try the fencer. We know you don't like fencer. Here's a million fencing swords. This game it's Filthy. We know you don't like the sword lance. Have a million sword lances. 4190, 6992. 77103. Fucking hell. Okay. Guess we're making another backline sword lancer. <laughs> Can only end well. Can only end well. Sword lands for non believers. On a uh, okay. frontline sword dancer with reach advantage. Oh my god, that actually sounds kind of good for once. I'm a little interested, actually. Didn't equip the new one. I think I did. I did. All right, what is this? Honor guards. Could we realistically do something like that? Because it would be a lot better if they were a fucking frontliner. Just replace the normal reach weapon and I don't have to use sword violence? Yes, boy, I like your thinking. I like your thinking. Fuck dedicated. Although I don't know how they have, ever have the stam. Where is our other frontline stam guy? It's here, right? This is sword spec'd. So it's but no quick hands. So where's our quick hand frontliner? Rice has quick hands. Let's see how it feels. He's got no stamina, so it's not a really great test, but whatever. All right, in we go. Uh, I've got the right weapons equipped. They do, okay. It's true, you lose reach a weapon if you reach advantage if you swap weapons. be one, right? I think sometimes two works. It's two back on normal terrain. Okay. I and mean, this is kind of what we wanted, just a little bit far off.
You lose over extra attacks is all. He can't stand there either. I do like having a couple rotates. Just to move people around. Baited by the AoE, alright, fine. What could go wrong? Today. Okay. okay. I have to level melee defense at some point, this guy. I guess it's good to get the stam rolls out of the way. Is there any universe in which he isn't a fencer? Not sure. Shit, I didn't look at the damage. God damn it. I'm sorry, chat. I meant to do that again. I saw the message and meant to do it. Just forgot. Can we get there? Oh, let's go to the island. The island of undead. The island of seagulls.
plus one retinue slot. I mean, can we afford it? I guess we probably could. All right, what do you guys want? Scavenger for ammo is all right. Actually, the number one limiting factor right now has been inventory space. Kind of want the cook. We're at the point where people might demand raises. Bounty hunter. Can we handle champions right now? Bounty hunter, bounty hunter, bounty hunter, bounty hunter. Can we handle champions, chat? Cook is so good, I agree, 100%. We're stuck with one extra shitty retinue member because of the surgeon, but we have pretty much at this stage of the game, we want to use the surgeon for everything. It's kind of like the only thing we care about. We can maybe get rid of the recruiter. So maybe the two we open up for are Bounty Hunter and Cook dropping Recruiter. So we could run Bounty Hunter now and unlock Cook later. Good talk. Okay. Yeah, we do need to go back to hire people for sure. All right, let's go over here. Can we handle that? Just had the midday tick. Do we have enough frontline to even remotely handle that? I don't know. Surgeon is good? Nah, surgeon's bad. It's just good for this background. Looks like a lot of fun, looks like a lot of death. Maybe with the Ability to kill young fast enough. There's a lot of young. This would be the ideal situation for Sword Lance, right? Iron Bank, try it. Yeah, could try it. Where's my Ezrock Helm? Is it repaired yet? Good enough. I think we're gonna try it, but I'm not entirely certain. Yeah. I like Surgeon, I like Cook. I don't really think very much of Surgeon. I mean, the, the wound recovery is nice, but the, uh, the struck down is not very nice. This would be not a bad use of this right now here. To be on Killing Frenzy, but... So where did I put it here? of land. Thanks. What's up? Is our guy is immune to stun right now? Do we even have one? Okay. Do we need nets? No, we need... The way we win this fight or lose this fight is entirely based on how quickly we kill all the young. Is the way we win this fight is by breaking the morale of the orcs. This 
So the important things are repeatedly doing big swaths of damage to the orc young. While stalling the warrior and warlords. Problem is, I don't know what the fuck the fencer does in this fight, if anything. 78 HP is not frontlineable here, so I think the fencer pops out. I think we run Superbender up front, which is not really... Superbender's not really designed to be DPS with this accuracy at 79 here. It's the same as my other sword. Yeah. We have spare noble swords. Oh, we've got one noble sword. I'm not real worried about it. No. And we can't bring these in. This is just too big of a wound. Totally negates their use. We could, I mean, this is only 66 accuracy. This is why this guy is not anything in the end, sadly. We could bring our fencer. It's good for killing young. It's kind of okay for kiting warriors around. It's bad for everything else. We could bring Lullaways as our fish cleaver. Maybe even run him. Um, he has cleaver spec. We could just run him whip for now. Does he have quick hands? He doesn't. But uh, that would be pretty solid, maybe? I don't know if the stand will keep up with it. Okay. Double nimble front line leaves me very unhappy. 28 melee defense. Oh, it's not enough. Not enough. Just not enough. Ah, uh, we have any one-handers that don't suck? Not really. We're just gonna eat my assassin's robe. I'm not very happy about that. He's already been struck down once, so he will die when he dies too. See if shield spec. This guy might survive to be a two-hander. <sighs> you have a similar cleaver. Isn't the orc one better? No, this is lighter. I don't generally like one-handed cleavers that aren't orc cleavers, but this guy doesn't have a ton of stam, so... Two-hander at that accuracy. It's not about the ac it's about the defense. I don't think this guy can stand on the front line with orcs with 28 melee defense. I think he'll get fucking chomp chomped. And die. Oops. Go. This is with the thrower too, shit. Ugh, not real happy about that.
our modest fellowship expands. Thanks, GBB. Praise the sub. Uh, is this enough? I don't want this guy just to stand still. I mean, maybe the sword lances are doing all the fucking damage. We can just stand still. I don't have any. Oh, I do have an orc shield. It's right there. Ha! Joke's on you, game. Joke's on you. Go. All right. Let's do it. About as good as we can make it. I don't see any improvements for gear. Maybe this guy could be in a 120 if he's not. He is. We're bringing a thrower here, which is questionable. So we can run 11-4 here. Backline could be a little stronger, I suppose. A 12-3. We have any more 12s? Not that aren't wounded. I guess 11-3 is okay. All right. Net on the cleaver. Um, the cleaver does get a two-handed bonus, so I'd have to use the net. I don't know what we're netting necessarily. Go. Okay. So I don't think so. 